All right, y'all, welcome to day 133. Two crabs up and running around. In fact, he beat me up. And uh, he got uh, he got packed up before I did even. So uh, he's real professional now. How are things going, two crab? Good, so far. <laughs> All right. Slept great. He slept great. Finally. I gave I gave him a Benadryl and knocked him right out. Uh, so I think he got about 11 hours of sleep last night. And uh, hopefully, hope you brought more of them. I did. I got three more, so we only got three more. Ooh. So it's not. It's not a second pickup. It's not a nightly thing. I might have to uh, get mushroom our home support team to uh, throw some more Benadryl in yeah. the in the bag. They were quite magical. <laughs> so uh, uh, it's about six o'clock in the morning, and we're headed to um, Katahdin Ironworks Road to pick up some food, and then it's onward and upward. We got a. At least one big climb today. I think we're gonna stay stay at the campsite that Mushroom and I stayed at last year. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a nice day. So y'all hang on tight. We'll be back in a little bit with all the fun and interesting stuff that we can find. And uh, we'll get her on her way. And hopefully no injuries. <laughs> and hopefully no injuries, yeah. No falling down. All right. All right, let's, let's get go. Hiking. Oh, and good morning, Mushroom. <laughs> Speaking of support people. Yeah, exactly. All right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. I get to finally wow. Experience what I keep seeing shows. Nice one, huh? Yeah. We should have just gotten up a little earlier. We'd have been busted up here for the original sunrise. Look at that little sea of clouds down there. Now that is beautiful. There are many things prettier than being up in the morning and seeing the morning. Let me tell you, it's yeah. just amazing. Woo! First thing. Let's go over here a little ways. Get this one. There's white cap right there. That's a that's our nest objective. We gotta go down into that valley and just slow climb it up there and hit those bumps. We're gonna hit those bumps on the way. Look at the sea of clouds way over there. That is magnificent, man. Beautiful. Early morning sunrise. Money shot. Of the day, maybe. Oh, holy shit. Chairback Mountain, y'all. Very nice. All right. We headed down to Katahdin Ironworks Road, where we have our first food drop waiting for us. And that's one of the nice things about Shaw's. And by the way, Shaw's is just the best hostel on the trail, if you ask. If you ask me for my opinion, that's what I'm going to tell you. Not only is it just a great place to stay, it's just the owners, poet, and hippie chick, and all the staff there are just so friendly, helpful, and uh, yeah, they're just the best. So anyways, one of their services is, is that you can, they've got two choices or two options for food pickup or food drop-off. You load your food up in a in a bucket and then they'll bring it out to you at a couple of different roads. One of them is this road that we're going to, the Katahdin Ironworks Road. And then we're gonna get another drop in two and a half days at uh, Joe Mary Road. So that's, a nice, that's one of the real nice things about having that service is you don't have to carry so much food. I mean, otherwise, if you want a real wilderness experience, then you're just gonna carry seven, eight, nine, ten days worth of food on your back. And I'm not equipped to do that, number one. And number two, that doesn't sound like a lot of fun. So we are going to do this uh, food drop thing. And the other nice thing is, is that our home support team can add stuff to that bucket before it leaves if necessary. And already we've had two equipment failures. Uh, two crabs filter didn't even, wouldn't even work at all. I mean, wouldn't push water at all. And he had only used that filter a couple of times. And then, so we were using my filter. And then the next day, my filter stopped working. It's working a little bit. It's pushing a little bit of water. But uh, usually, the Katahdin B Free filters last for three weeks. And I have no idea. I've been, I've been filtering pretty clean water, too. So I don't know what's going on with that filter. But lucky we have Mushroom back at Shaw's. Because she just uh, went and bought a couple of filters and popped them in the bucket for us. And then they'll also take our trash... And if we have items that we don't think we need anymore, they'll take those back for us too. 
and yeah, mushroom will get them out of the bucket for us when she get when when they get back there so that's a nice little service they have here it's not necessarily inexpensive but it uh, definitely as far as i'm concerned worth the price darn good breakfast oh yeah and they have a darn good breakfast there don't they so that's what we're doing right now we're almost there we're actually going to be a little early so we're going to sit down there and relax for uh probably an hour waiting for them to show up at 9 30. we're moving along pretty good two crabs feeling pretty good this morning i can tell so he's back in business that hematoma's gone away he's got a little he's got a little wound on his arm now so i never even knew it happened yeah. said, what happened to your arm yeah oh, so he's still bloodied up so the trail wants to kill you <laughs> yeah the trail wants to kill you so that's where we stand right now that's where we're going i think we're both having a great time out here Absolutely. and just enjoying this walk Beautiful sunrise. this is just one of those walks i told two crab last night i said i don't care if you're with me or not i'm not walking fast through here I'm just gonna chill out and relax and, and enjoy it when you get to camp it's such a nice most of the campsites are really nice and it's all quiet you sleep good at night it's just it's perfect so there's no reason to like bounce try to do 20 25 30 miles around around this place it's such a magical place so well, I couldn't anyway. yeah <laughs> so anyways we're out of here we're gonna keep on rolling down this mountain and then uh we'll show you some cool stuff on the other side of the road when we get there all right we'll be back how's this guy's feet treating him right now he's doing pretty good he's got a few little blisters on his feet yeah. right took a big spill yesterday coming over the river flipped on a rick flip on a rock yeah you've got all day like by the end of the day today i'm allowed to go back on my ridge runs Break yeah ends, i have to sit here but i'll take off at five and still make it up to tap in tonight yeah so let the feet just heal up we're in the hermitage this is a little section with a bunch of old growth pine trees white pine trees they used these back in the day for sailing ship mass. Here's another nice one right here. Go stand up there, two crab. It's got a little wart on it. That's a pretty nice tree. Solid. I think there's more up here. Let's go check it out. What do you say? This is kind of celebrity trail right here, man. Uh, enjoy it. There's another nice one right oh. there. No, that first year... Like I said, when we were totally overloaded, no sticks. We did 15 and a half miles the first day. And then, but during that, you remember Baxter Peak? Uh-huh. He, uh, we were coming down off some of them stone things and he jammed his knee. And when we woke up that next morning and we were going up that first hill, he's like, then it ain't happening. Okay. Well, we've started our climb up the Gulf Haggis Mountain. It's just kind of a gentle slope upward for quite a while, but now we're starting to, to get some elevation change pretty quickly. Right here, over here on this side is Gulf Haggis Brook, which runs pretty much almost to the top of that mountain, I think. So we just gotta pile up over top of that thing. And then down to the campsite, and we're done for the day. Just a short little bounce, and we'll be back at Mushroom and Pink Hot Dog's third campsite from last year. That'll be good. No real problems today. Everything's working good on both ends, and uh, everybody's doing good. So, uh, we're going to get to climbing. Get up here to the top of this mountain. Well, y'all, that's a wrap on day 133. I think two crabs doing just fine right now. What do you say? Still a little slow on the ups, but I'm sticking to it. He's doing just fine. 
no, he's, no he's planning today. <laughs> no, no falling down, and his injuries uh, have re uh, healed themselves somehow. He's done really well. So uh, yeah, we just got to camp here, same place that Mushroom and I camped at last year, and we're just uh, hanging out here. We've got a few, a few other campers around, uh, so uh, that's where we're at. So anyways, we uh, are going to wrap this day up after 12 miles of hiking almost, Scott. Yep. I mean, two crap. <laughs> um, I think they all know. <laughs> but uh, uh, we had a good time. It was a mm -hmm. nice hike. And except for it, like the last mile of the day, um, everything was real chill as far as hiking was concerned. Yeah. Golf Haggis, the rim trail hike versus Golf Haggis Mountain, totally different. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we were going to do that Golf uh, Haggis rim trail, but changed our minds just because it was another eight miles. And um, we're going to continue on just hiking where we're supposed to be hiking right now. So, uh, I think that's about it for the day. Uh, how many kisses did you get today, Two Crab? I gave you six. <laughs> oh, six kisses. Very well, good. There are no bridges here, <laughs> yeah. Mushroom. That's there are right. no bridges here. She knows. So, uh, all right, y'all, we're going get to get to bed, and yep. we'll see you tomorrow morning, uh, bright and early. Uh, we're getting up early tomorrow, and uh, that'll be it for day 133, and we'll see you tomorrow for day 134. All right, y'all. Take care. Good night, Mushroom. Yeah, I mean, good night, Mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> Very good.